Hello Libra, thank for joining me on Angel Works 3110. My name is Gladys and this is your Christmas message. Christmas tree message. We're going to pick a card for the trunk, the tree trunk. I do add the shuffle to, at the end of the video so that you guys can get bonus video links. So check that out at the very end. Thank you for sticking it out all the way in of these videos. I know they're a little bit lengthy, but I go in depth. So I'm going to break all the cards down. And I'm going to break certain cards down with special decks. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is your tree trunk. We're going to go ahead and get started with your message. Okay, Libras. If you did not check out your other three videos that I already posted before this one. Well, actually, yeah, it's three videos. And then after this one, I'm going to be posting one more. I hope you guys can check out all the videos that I post for this month. We are going to start off with the foundation, then the three questions stemmed off from the first video, the Libra video. Go check out your cusp videos of Virgo Libra and Libra Scorpio, because those could resonate. And this is going to be you and your person. Pick which side is you or your person. This is what the message is from the divine, your verse wisdom to reflect on. So on your face of your message, ooh, is the chariot, guys. You're going to be victorious in the situation triumph there's success there's fame there's journeys up ahead guys we are clarifying everything what is this victory about spirit guides angels and bombs somebody moved toward victory somebody's moving toward a victorious situation they want a true bond with someone they don't want somebody that's in and out that's flighty this could be something to do with your health as well your health could be improving Ace of Swords, the truth of the matter comes about, comes out in the situation due to the fact that somebody walked away from the situation, somebody just up and left, and it caused a stalemate in the situation, but with the stalemate, it caused someone to get in their head and they th think about what has occurred in the situation that caused this person to want to leave. This person may have communicated clearly something that caused someone to be in their head about the situation. If you believe in love, guys, this person's loving themselves. They want a true love, a true bond. This person loves himself enough to walk away from being treated bad, from being backstabbed constantly. When they trust it, this person here, this two, on this one it looks like this, but the two of swords usually has a blindfold. That person was blinded, blindsided to an action. They had a blindfold because they could trust this person and it felt like this sword got stabbed in their back. The truth of the situation was that some kind of truth was revealed and it caused someone to walk away from a situation. The Ace of Swords gets a clarifier. Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Vine? What else do we know about the Ace of Swords? Thank you. The inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. Someone here trusted their inter intuition. They went within. Spirit was trying to tell them something, the truth about the situation. And it caused somebody to walk away. And the truth was known. And it caused someone to take the blindfolds off. And they had to go within. But somebody here feels victorious because they love themselves. They realize that they wouldn't be in love the right way, the way they should be loved. And they walked away from the situation from feeling stuck and trapped mentally, having mental exhaustion, anxiety. They walked away and they went within. Now, if this is you being shocked from this person leaving your situation, you need to go within to see what caused this person to go away from you and have communication with this person. They're from a distance, but you need to communicate with this person to figure out what cause this and try to heal if you're trying to heal within yourself whatever conflict there was and resolve the situation so that you can have peace of mind and be able to sleep and have a better relationship moving forward either with this person or without this person with somebody new now your questions that we had for this month that you had to think about was what would a concerned capable mother do in this situation because you were dealing with a mother in this situation. The mother would do Seven of Cups. This mother could have been causing the confusion, 
in this situation. There's illusion, there's imagination, unrealistic desires, possibilities here. You know, the question that we were asking was what would a concerned mother do in this situation? Or what would they be capable of doing? They could be capable of causing confusion or they could stop the confusion and speak the truth in the situation. The things that you can be doing to help your child in this situation, if you're noticing your child in relationships and they're not treating the other person right, is to have a talk with them, sit down and, and let them know how a relationship should be. It should be an equal give and take. It shouldn't be harsh. It shouldn't be cruel and mean. If someone is just using someone and you see this, there may be a time for you to have a talk to them if this is your child. Now, if you're dealing with a mother that is a jealous type that takes care of their child, they may be very protective of their child and not want their child to get harmed if they see somebody coming in with ill intent. You could also be dealing with a mother that is toxic, that has jealousy issues, that lives in their ego, that is not living in the higher spiritual self and has jealousy issues because they see that you have a great bond with this person and is trying to destroy it. We also got to remember we're not our parents. We can change our own legacy. We do not have to have that relationship that we've seen growing up. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Somebody here could have some kind of mental disorder, illness. Somebody here was not given true cups. The Ace of Wands. Here's a new beginning coming in. Somebody wants a new beginning, a redo, a start with the Queen of Wands and the Jack of Cups. So this Queen could have been offered a cup of love or somebody here was giving this Queen a cup of love and it was only for passion. They were in and out for passion. And as soon as they got their passion and they got satisfied, they'd move on and just go and they only, you only hear from them when they're ready for passion. It was just a passionate relationship. And somebody doesn't want this, especially a queen. A queen is looking for a king. They're not looking for confusion and in and out romance. You guys have a very strong bond when it comes to romance. But this person also has a deep connection with you emotionally. Now with the ace of wands being here, we're going to get a in-depth clarifier. Why is the Ace of Wands here, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Divine? Why is the Ace of Wands here? What other message do we have for the Ace of Wands being here? Thank you. The Ace of Wands. We have the Rainbow Ray coming in. This is the Angel Terriel. I don't know if I'm saying the angel names correctly or not. We're going to get some insight in the book. I won't read everything out of the book. I'll just read some of it. But with this angel here, the message is honor your sensitivity. Let go of self-limitations and acknowledge the purity of your heart. Every child is born of light. You are returning to your true state of innocence. This person's bringing the innocence out of you. Bringing the emotional confusion out of you and wanting to offer you a true cup of love here. This isn't a genuine romantically true kind of love but for some reason there's confusion in this situation now why is the queen of wands here spirit guys angels be fine why is the queen of wands here is the queen the one causing the confusion what's going on with the queen of wands thank you spirit guys angels be fine the will of fortune there was a karmic situation that was involved or this person is bringing you a fortune of love with the will of fortune I forgot to do the clarifiers on the wheel, but I remember now. So let's do the Wheel of Fortune here to get more clarifiers. We're going to spin this wheel. And on this wheel, it says, looks like it's on the two. Let's see here. Yeah, the two of wands. Somebody choosing to go down a certain path and trusting their intuition spiritually. They are a spiritual guru or they are very into spirit. They're trusting spirit at this time. And this is your little Norman spin. And that looks like it's on this one, number 23. 
mice. 23 is mice. This is stress, loss, worry, nagging, instability, restless knots, chores that need to be done. I don't know if you can see that on the wheel, but I feel like somebody here is having restless knots and stuff due to a Queen of Wands person. The Three of Cups. There could have been a third party situation involved. This person is ready to celebrate. They want to celebrate their love with you. They feel this deep bond with you. They are very confused about this situation because the Seven of Cups shows back up. When it comes to this situation, you're confused about what this fire side's wanting, or this fire side is confused about what you're wanting in this relationship. There could be emotions all over the place. Somebody here may feel like they're dealing with their karmic soulmate, or they dealt with a karmic and now they're coming back around to you. And maybe you're seeing that you chose the wrong person. You chose a karmic over them. And it's causing confusion in the way you're showing your emotions. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here, Spirit Guys, Angels, Divine? Why is the Page of Cups showing up here? Thank you. Page of Cups is here because of the Eight of Wands. Somebody's communicating that they love you deeply on a daily basis. Somebody sees somebody communicating clearly and differently now. And they're wanting stability. And they keep saying they want stability. They thought that you had this true cup of love for them. But there's some kind of confusion that went on. And it could have been because of a mother figure. Or a fire sign that caused the confusion about a new beginning. And it's keeping somebody stuck and trapped. And causing them to see something differently now. Having separation. Having to be apart from this person at this time. What is paired with this confusion is the wise counsel. This is the Hierophant card coming in. With the Hierophant coming in, we're going to get a bonus message for the Hierophant as well. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant showing up? This person's very spiritual. They are not confused anymore. Spirit is showing them what's in these cups. They're not being confused anymore. <laughs> That uh, page of cups that showed up, if you add that to the seven, that's eight cups. That means that they walk away from the situation. Here's that cup. You add the cup. Here's the ace of cups, a big cup of love. They're giving you a legit love. But if you don't take up on this divine union, this divine offer, they're going to walk away. You could have known each other in past lives and you're having to learn lessons with this person. Ooh, here. Or here's the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is offering not just love, but they're offering stability in the situation and equal give and take. This person either don't want to commit or they're trying to commit. They're trying to have a legit relationship with someone. With somebody that's not in and out, that isn't a joker, that isn't playing them for a fool. Now what is your Ace of Cups message? What is the Ace of Cups for Libras? The people watching this Libra video. What is the Ace of Cup message for the people watching this video? Thank you. Your message is forgiveness. You guys need to find the strength within to forgive somebody for doing something, for walking away from a situation. They were just feeling very confused about the situation. They were feeling like you maybe didn't care. You didn't realize your actions cause confusion in this situation or there there was some kind of confusion and there needs to be forgiveness in this situation what else do we need to know about the ace of pentacles there is a new beginning on the horizon this is going to be a legit cup of love a big old yeti cup of love not a sippy cup it's a yeti full of love overflowing of love overflowing of abundance coming in new beginning a new job loving your new job a new way of doing something you're not nobody's fool what is the message for the people watching this spirit guys thank you there's your message i birth new concepts and ideas easily i am full of flowness in every part of my life grace permeates my being this is playfulness perspective flowfulness and grace excuse me but a lot of you 
are trying to go within, trying to see things differently and having a new concept, a new way of doing something. And a lot of you need to go and forgive as well in this situation. Let's get your wise counsel message, bonus message, the Hierophant message. Thank you. Your message is right here. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Give it to the universe. This is true love being divinely guided to come toward you and you're fearing it. You're not sure if you want to take up on this true love offer. You don't know if you want to commit. If you want this new beginning, you're holding back. You're indecisive in this situation. So, when it comes to the concern of a mother, what, would, what a mother would do, a mother would be forgiving. They would love their child unconditionally, no matter what kind of chaos went on. They are very forgiving and loving. This person is a mother, or they have children by other people, or they want to have children. They're very motherly-like. They, they have new ways of doing things, new beginnings. They love to cook, clean. But this person here is very loving and forgiving, a nurturing type person that is willing to give you their heart. Even after all this confusion and betrayals and bad cups, they're here. It's within you that to let go and give your heart and your troubles to this person and you guys heal together. You need to heal yourself first and then the right kind of love comes in. Don't be afraid to let this person in because it's being brought to you by the divine, basically. Now, your second question was, what can I do that would emphasize the growth in this situation? What can you do? The Knight of Pentacles, do an offer. Don't be so quick to judge and come in and out. This person's slow moving. They're being prepared. They're being efficient, ambitious, and practical at the same time. Why is the Knight of Pentacles showing up here, Spirit Guys, Angels, Divine? Why is the Knight of Pentacles showing up here? Thank you. The Knight is showing up here because there needs to be a rebirth, a revamp, a death of sorts. Something needs to happen that needs to transform. Major. This slowness may need to take it up a notch and become a queen. Somebody does not have patience. Someone doesn't want to let go of some kind of old behavior or old way of doing something, and they need to. They need to work on self. They need to work on transforming the way they behave or the way they communicate or the way they stay stuck in their head and not and stay guarded and not give it to the universe and stay stuck in their head about emotions not being very forgiving always causing confusion in situations and then we have the eight of pentacles coming in there there needs to be a lot of work a lot of detailed work done somebody here put too much work into something and somebody here was barely putting work into it the transformation needs to be in how the relationship is put the work into whoever puts in the most work needs to slow it down a little bit and give some of this work to the other person delegate it somebody here's back and forth they want to put in a lot of work one minute and the next minute they don't that's the transformation it's the work that's being put into it you need to be more methodical detailed oriented when it comes to how you react toward how you put your energy toward something some kind of new transformation needs to occur with this Knight of Pentacles coming in. What else do we need to know about the Knight coming in? Thank you. With this Knight, we have the two of Wands coming in, wanting to go down a new direction, a new path with this person, and offer them a cup of love. This is the real legit deal a cup of love coming in with stability. They're they're not going to be in and out with their love. They are very creative, very loving, very loyal. They want the real thing. They're putting in all this work. For what? So that somebody can come in and out with their love 
or be too slow moving about it. What is the deal with this page of cups being here? Having to balance things out, wanting the equal give and take, wanting to go down a new path, a new direction, standing their ground, being an empress, looking for their emperor, wanting to take action, but not wanting to put in all the work, loving, waiting for somebody to put in work too. What is paired up with this night? The 19th. Ooh, the sun is shining. Successful recognition, enthusiasm. That somebody is shining bright. They're seeing somebody for the way they really are. Something's getting illuminated about this situation. Yeah, this person may be slow moving, but they're coming towards you slowly. But they have warm feelings towards you. They are wanting to have a positive outcome in the situation. They want to succeed with you. The Ten of Cups, when it comes to a full cup of love, they are knowing that you could be their one. Here is the offer coming in of wanting to have an equal give and take in this situation and celebrate the situation. But there was some kind of dilemma that caused a delay or caused some kind of misunderstanding, caused somebody to not be with this person and it's, somebody's causing a delay with the slow moving slow moving action that they're doing here the question was what can I do to emphasize the growth is move up to the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles speak your truth about the emotional bond that you have for this person how deep you feel for this person don't have remorse and regret move toward this person with your full emotion and love have true expose your true emotion how you really feel real deep and warm toward them now on this question this is about how can i celebrate my own sensuality and sexuality it's the four of cups go within love yourself stop worrying about these cups tame your intimacy control it don't just give it out to whoever have value in the intimacy time of sharing that with someone else that is supposed to be a special bond between you and another person it's not supposed to be just given out freely to satisfy your own selfish needs how can you celebrate your own sexuality and sexuality is by seeing what the divine is trying to offer to you but you're too busy worried and sullen in the bad cups that you got in the past you're not letting go of the past. You're still living in the past and reminiscing of the bad cups that you've received. But in order to celebrate what you have now, of the place that you're in now, you need to turn around and see this cup that's being given to you by the divine. The nine of air shows up with this. It's because you're, like I said, stuck in the past, having anxiety, worried about stuff of the past, not letting the past go. Why is the Four of Cups here, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Divine? How are we going to celebrate if this person keeps stuck in their head about lying, cheating, betrayals, backstabbing going on, being a fool, being a joker, being a player, in and out, not being committal, and heartbroken and sad and depressed, having remorse for all this action that went on. And I'll tell you in a minute how you can celebrate from all this bad heartache, this backstabbing that went on that's caused you to be in your head now. Here's the king of pentacles. This could be you seeing what you caused, how you caused heartache in the situation when it came to a bond that was trying, that was being given to you by the divine, your soul partner, your soulmate, your twin flame. Somebody here sees that somebody didn't take the divine's offer and they're stuck and upset and sad. They really thought that this person was their one. But something occurred where they just felt sad and depressed and regretful for even believing that this was their one. Having remorse and regret for the options that they did for the backstabbing and the betrayals that, they, that went on. Why is the king here? The king is here because there were secrets. The secrets got revealed about lying, cheating, and betrayals. This person could be financially off or they 
a secret could come about about their finances and they're working really hard to have stability in the situation they may not have stability and the secret comes out that they didn't have stability they were relying on somebody else or someone else this could also indicate that, that you guys were living together you both had finances together and something occurred where now your finances are less than what they were before you may have separated and it caused your finances to go down lower and you're having to rebuild your finances or the person you're dealing with is having to redo their finances because they had a lot of finances with you at the beginning and they actually used up all their finances while they were with you and now that they're not with you they've got less finances there could also be a financial burden going on here someone could also be learning something new being very methodical and putting in a lot of work and new way of doing stability in the situation. Planning for the future. What is the healing card for the Three of Swords being here? Spirit guys and angels, Don, what is, the, thank you, the message for the leaders watching this. You got ideals and inspiration. This says to pay attention to new thoughts and ideas that come to you. They are seeds of manifestation, co-creation with God. So, he is trying to give you signs. You need to let go of this anxiety that you're having, the sleepless nights, and forgive yourself and ask this person for forgiveness. Or take this person's forgiveness if they're coming to you with remorse and regret and asking you for forgiveness for the wrongdoings that occurred in the situation. What is the healing... Thank you. Here's your healing message. Adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between, guys. Try to have a new adventure with this person. Ask to go somewhere with this person. There's achievements here. Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date it is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you come honor and be grateful for the extraordinary journey that is your life there is achievements to be had in the situation what have you achieved so far you have achieved something you have achieved a growth of some sort you're achieving healing you're achieving spiritual growth in this situation you finally found your one your match the one that can purr with you exactly to your tone somebody here needs to heal some kind of wrongdoings that occurred and ask for forgiveness and let go of grudges and not bring up past situations someone here is letting go of this remorse of backstabbing betrayals and cheating and not being honest and true someone here is letting go of someone that doesn't want to step it up to have a successful bond with somebody and they're just contemplating about all this offer that went in went within in this situation now what is the emotion for person a the chariot. The chariot comes in conquest, control, victory, motivation. And they're going to get what it is they want by moving forward and knowing their value, their worth, respecting themselves, and going toward their true commitment, their true happiness. Here's a knight of earth. They could be going toward a knight of earth, or this knight of earth is coming toward you. Having slow movement. What's going on with this chariot being here? Spirit God's angels and divine. Why is the chariot here? You could be dealing with health issues at this time and overcoming some kind of health issues. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in swiftly, but slow moving, on a horse with an offer, a big pentacle. This person could be a person that is a person that likes to have their own freedom, that is independent, that is usually to themselves. Here we have the Queen of Cups showing up. She is a person that is very lovable. She's very into her emotions and she may be ready. This person may be ready to express their emotion, their deep emotion for you. 
we're going to be clarifying the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit Guys, Angels, and Dawn? Queen of Cups is here offering love. They want a legit offer. They don't want an in and out relationship. They want a true commitment. This is the High Priestess. They're trusting their intuition in the situation. And they're holding on. They're waiting for a sign, a symbol, synchronicity, so that they can have victory in the situation. With the Ace of Pentacles being here, your bonus message. What is your bonus message? Thank you. Your bonus message is fertility of all kinds is my birthright. I am connected to all the cycles of the land and sky. Healthy fierceness is something to be valid. Be patient. The time will come. Have patience in the situation. Attention to the cycle. Fierceness, fertility, isolation, and surrender to the divine in the situation. Why is the night of earth here? Spirit guides, angels, and divine. Why is the night of earth here? Thank you. The night of earth here. Someone here stood their ground to the night of earth. They took control. They took charge of the situation. They took their power back. And they're having a rebirth, a redo. Having somebody to go within to change some old habit of way of being. Let's clarify the knot a little bit more. Why is the knot of earth here, sure guys, angels, and divine? Thank you. The knot, the ten of swords comes to an end. Something comes to an end. When it comes to an equal give and take with this queen of pentacles showing back up the queen of pentacles shows up why is the queen of pentacles here spirit guys angels and divine thank you the secret comes out about this queen of pentacles they're very deep in their emotions at this time ace of wands wanting a new passionate beginning wanting to relocate a new place to live Reminiscing of the past, not letting go of the past situation with the Ace of Wands being here. Thank you. The Ace of Wands, we got Red Durell, Angel number 13. This is Orange Ray. Your message from this angel is you are a creator. Don't allow doubts to hold you back. You are gifted and inspiration and you can do it. All you have to do is start it. Begin your creation today. Get really creative. Focus on something that you will enjoy doing and get creative with it. And get your mind off this sadness of backstabbing trails that went on in this situation and heal from the situation. This bag is having its ending. Somebody's going to meet you halfway and try to do something a different way, a different light. To bring in the right kind of love. They don't want to be nobody's fool. They don't want to be single anymore. And they're looking for a commitment, a true bond. Now, the other person, what they're thinking and feeling. We have the five of swords. They're feeling as if they won at all costs. They're feeling selflessness, tension, betrayed, there's betrayal, entitlement, somebody here could be trying to win at all costs and somebody else sees their selfish ways, their betrayals, their lying, their cheating ways. Why is the five of swords here? Somebody here wasn't in the up and up, they were not for their higher good, they were not looking out for the other person, they were out for themselves in this situation. Thank you. Your message for the Five of Swords is the Ten of Wands. Birds come to an end finally. Somebody here finally wanting to come in with a message, a slow moving message. They could be wanting to reconcile because here's the Seven of Pentacles. This is building stability, wanting to build stability in the situation. Somebody here could have seen the light. They've been awakened to something and they're ready to move forward. Somebody 
shining like a star. We, we're going to get clarification for the star. Here is the Four of Wands. They're having time for rest and contemplation. They see who they think is their star, their one. And they're finding the strength to come forward about this situation and about the betrayals that went on. And they want a, to start over and have a clean slate in the situation. What is the star message for the star? Somebody sees somebody as a star in the situation. They're standing out in the limelight. They could be very popular. They lack a lot of attention. Thank you, Spirit God's Angels Mind. We have justice in this situation when it comes to this situation. And the star comes back out. That somebody here is standing in their truth. And the Wheel of Fortune comes in. Something finally comes to an end. A karmic situation, a karmic will. Let's get more clarification about the star coming back in. Maybe both of you like attention. Maybe both of you are popular. Somebody likes attention. Somebody likes, or somebody's going to be standing in the limelight, having anxiety, having to stand in front of a crowd. And here's the magician. Somebody's working their magic. The hermit comes in, going within with the Eight of Pentacles, working really hard to achieve something, having to master something, having to study, having to go over something so that they can be really good at whatever this is that they're doing. They're working really hard to make this an achievement and they're having to put some extra energy in and go within to figure out what it is that they want. Now with the Magician showing up, we get to clarify the Magician. Why is the magician here? Sure, guys, I just find why is the magician here? Why is the magician here, Spirit Guys, Angels and Vine? What else do we need to know? The Ace of Wands comes in. A new beginning. A new way of doing something. When it comes to disappointment and lies and betrayals being shown or having regret and remorse. When it came to a third party situation or the work that they put in into a situation. There's a new beginning in this. With this new beginning, we get to pick another angel card. Thank you. That was quick. You got Angel Shamiel coming in. Let's see what Angel Shamiel says in the book. Love and relationships. This message says to open your heart. Like I was saying earlier, some of you need to open your heart. But this says, open your heart and let yourself be cherished. Always remember that you are loved, for you are made of love. So you need to open your heart and be more open to this new beginning, this new romantic relationship that's trying to come in for you guys. With the star card being here twice, we get to pick two star messages here. Thank you. Your message is love. Here comes love coming back in again. Love comes back in for you guys. And the other message is thought. You need to put thought into this when you're putting your love and your devotion, your emotion into the situation. There needs to be thought put into it carefully before you express this love that you have or put this love and devotion into it. Love in the book says, Love makes the world go around. Love is a glue that holds our universe together. Love is accepting the whole package, quirks, unique qualities, and all, unconditionally. The world doesn't want to be saved. It wants to be loved. This is how we will save it. Love starts within us and extends outward. The more we love ourselves, the more we can love others. The more love we give, the more love we get. When we go out in the world loving, we attract the same vibration to ourselves. Love is soft, kind, and forgiving. Extend love and watch your being bloom. Now with thought being here, thought says we create our reality with our thoughts. We must pay attention to where our thoughts are, what our thoughts are, and water them with faith because our thoughts are like seeds we plant. When we think something and when we put feelings into the thought, it is the impetuous for the creation 
Whatever we think about, we get more of. We get what we think about whether we want it or not. It is for the reason we must be aware of what we allow in our head. The happiness of your life depends on the qualities of your thinking. Make certain you focus on how what you want to feel, what you would like to see in your life, and what it is that you desire. This is one way to have your desires and thoughts line up to create the reality you want. Now what is paired up with this is the three of air, heartbreak, disappointment, disillusion, needing to heal in a situation. What is our healing message for people watching this? Thank you. There's your healing message. You guys got Archangel Michael coming in. You are being protected at this time. The powerful Archangel is with you right now. He gives you courage and helps you release you from the efforts of fear. A lot of you are living in fear right now. Afraid that this person is going to not acknowledge the love that you have. You've been in your head about it too much. Having just this heartache, disappointment, and remorse for this situation of everything that's occurred that went downhill. But you are the only one that can get out of your head about this. You need to talk to this person and speak your thoughts to this person so that you can get out of your head about it. Now, what is the main overall message that the universal wisdom wants to, us to reflect on? The two of swords of getting out of your head, feeling stuck and trapped about a situation, having to move forward when it comes to the situation and take the blindfolds off, not having a cellmate anymore. What is the deal with the two of swords here, Spirit Guys, Angels, and Divine? Thank you. Two of swords, we have the nine of wands. Finally letting go of burdens because this is a burdensome situation. When it comes to a love offer, this is a legit love offer coming from Spirit. But this person is in and out with passion, in and out with their message about how they want a relationship to be. Okay, let's get clarifiers for this or this page of wands being here and then we're going to wrap it up. Why is the page of wands here, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Divine? Thank you. The page of wands is here because of the conflict. There was some kind of conflict. Internal conflict that went on or mental conflict, anguish about two choices. There was somebody that caused burdens in the Divine Union. Here's the Five of Cups coming back in. Disappointment and having remorse and regret for the choices they made and the confusion that was causing the situation because they were in and out with their passion. They were flighty. They caused burdens in the situation. And somebody sees this and they're finally going to release this anguish and go toward their wish fulfillment, their desires, and get away from any kind of confusion. They're going to speak the truth about the situation and move forward in the situation the message from the divine is walk out distractions your life purpose and other priorities need your individual attention so it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important you already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out so you're going to put more focus on something where you're blocking this it's like a blockage here you're going to block someone from communicating with you or you're going to block somebody's blocking you but you're blocking out the distractions by filling this gap of remorse and regret and sadness that you're feeling you're filling it in with something that you love to do a hobby you're going to get your mind focused on something else you're going to find something that you love to do it's either reading going out and doing new adventures by yourself or making new friends you're going to find something that where you can focus your energy on where you're not thinking of this thing that where it makes you feel like you're feeling stuck and trapped in your head about this situation and feeling as if you can't go nowhere with this person that you got blindsided about a situation you're finally overcoming this 
You need to reflect. You need to go within and reflect about what caused this stalemate, what caused this blockage. It was not the right kind of communication that went on in this situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If this one didn't resonate, go check out one of your other videos, Libras. And always remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.